Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be a September message, spirit message, so hopefully you can like, share and subscribe because it resonates. There's September messages, the September monthlies are up, there's just September messages on the channel and other ones if you want to look at them. But today spirit, please show me what it is that you would like for Scorpio. Bittersweet, so there could be a bittersweet victory here. It could be you're leaving, having to make change here and there's something you're having to leave behind. Uh, we'll have a wee look at that. Or it could be an argument where there's a bittersweet victory. It's cost you something. Something's cost you along the line, somewhere along the line. We've got beautiful soulmate energy here. Beautiful soulmate energy. So people that, that understand you, people that are part of your soul tribe, it could be your family members, your friends. It could be... Um, Work colleagues that support you, anybody that's good for you here, part of your soul tribe, it's not your family. In the near future, okay. and helpful people, yeah. So what they're saying here is, that, quite simply, that it pays to have helpful people around you, people that have got your back, people that understand you, people have got your best interests at heart here. You want to be around good people that relate. you can relate to here. So there might be a sort of bittersweet victory in the near future that you're going to have to deal with that could move you towards better people and environments. But we'll see what's happening here. Or it might be you're making the decision to move towards better things for yourself here, whether it be within a group of people, an environment, or a job situation, whatever it may be. So I'll do some tarot and I'll give you an animal message at the end. Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. So it's definitely about moving towards your happiness here. Beautiful World card. It's a new cycle that's on the horizon here. The Ten of Wands. Beautiful Seven of Cups here. The Three of Swords. The Beautiful Empress. And oh my God, I could just see it. I thought to myself, I wish I'd said, shows you how spirit works with me. Is the tower card going to come out here? Okay, so we're going to look at this. It's obvious here that there's new foundations needing to be laid. So there could have been a bittersweet victory where you've had to leave things behind or you're going to have to leave things behind. Any kind of heartache or disappointment that you're feeling. Now, it doesn't have to be in a romantic sense, but it might be for some people, obviously. But anything that's caused you any kind of disappointment, there's a bittersweet victory here. So you're moving on. Five, I'm seeing the Five of Swords here in my mind's eye. Bittersweet victory. That's the Five of Swords in the tarot deck. And this is about walking away and cutting your losses. So moving towards more helpful people. This could be happening in the near future. You might be going through it now. But you're making this decision to move forward. Now, what we need to do here is we need to focus on what we're coming out with and not what we're leaving behind. Because this tower moment has come in or the situation you've been presented with, the decision you're going to have to make is designed to put an end to all your challenges. So it could be a toxic relationship that's upset or someone who's not playing the game with you within a relationship or a friendship. It could be a work environment. You're saying I've had enough of the challenges that are within that environment. Um, it's not working for me, so I'm forced to make a decision here. But spirit generally comes in when you've been sitting in a situation where there needs to be change. So this is about leaving behind your heartaches and disappointments, people, environments or situations of any kind. And it's about laying more solid foundations. So this is the foundations breaking away. And we're now ready to lay these solid foundations. It's going to put an end to all our past challenges. They're weighing us down now. So the five has come in here, the bittersweet victory, it might feel like that, uh, but it's all designed to bring you into this beautiful empress energy here. Now this is rebirth and rejuvenation. She's at one with her environments, 
She's at one with everybody around about her. She's got beautiful people around her. Um, she's very attractive. It could be we've got the Ace of Cups here. Somebody might be finding you very attractive now because you've dealt with your bittersweet victory. You're in this Empress energy. You appear attractive, but well balanced. And there could be an opportunity here of a romantic relationship, a new beginning in your love life. And the reason I'm saying that is because we've got the Knight of Cups. So there's somebody who could find you very attractive now that you've put your challenges behind you, Scorpio. This bittersweet victory, you've cut your losses, you've moved on, you're in a beautiful, attractive energy, and someone is seeing you that way, and they're coming towards you. Now, this person could be a soulmate, it could be somebody from a previous life, or it could be somebody coming in that's going to work really well with you. Now, if it's somebody coming towards you, it's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Now, it doesn't have to be a person. This could be you moving towards, cutting your losses, accepting what's happened now. It's time to move towards my happiness, um, choosing to be in the Empress energy, and what you do there is you start uh, with new beginnings. So this heartache is behind us now. The challenges are behind us, and we're ready to start to be happy. Aces are brand new beginnings. The terror moment has happened. And I'm looking towards my own happiness. Now, this is a holy grail. Everybody's entitled to happiness. We should not be in situations or environments that pull us down. So focusing here on what we've gained out of leaving this environment, out of things falling apart here and putting our challenges behind us, cutting our losses and starting to create brand new beginnings with love, hope and all these types of things. Now, this bittersweet victory is... A completion of a cycle. Now, it's the end of your challenges here. So if you're going through this at the moment, this is designed to help put an end to your challenges and create brand new beginnings. Completion. This is a completion card where we're completing one cycle of our life and moving into another. This is brand new happiness, joy, blessings that the universe wants you to have here, Scorpio. Okay, so a new life cycle starting here that's going to make you very, very happy. OK, and like I say, when we're in this beautiful Empress energy, we attract all the blessings and we can see all the blessings that the universe has to offer us. So we can walk, move towards them now. We can take, go towards beautiful people, beautiful blessings, brand new beginnings, all this type of thing. Now, this is in the very near future. These things you're going to maybe see if, if you're going through the tower moment at this moment in time, things in the near future are going to change. There's a lot of soulmate energy around you. These are people and situations that are good for you, that are blessings. So no more disappointments, no more heartaches. Uh, we're moving on and we're moving to the blessings that the universe wants you to have. And there's good news coming in here. So like I said, this could be romantic relationships, uh, romantic messages through text, um, through email. It could be somebody coming forward with a new job opportunity if you're, your disappointments, if you've had to cut your losses there. But there's good news coming in that could help you make this change. So it's either good news that's going to move you towards your happiness or it's news that's coming in that's going to help you bring the change in to go towards your happiness. Now, this could be a job in another town. You could be going on a holiday. You could be, uh, if it's a new job opportunity, uh, it could be good for your home life, but you might have to move house, you might be moving country, you might be immigrating, whatever it may be. So if you're immigrating or moving to a new place, you might be leaving family members behind, which might be this bittersweet victory. You know, I know that I've got to go uh, to build this solid foundation, because if this romantic offer is from someone and I take it up, it could be from someone in another town or another country, but this could lead to marriage. If it's a romantic person, it could lead to marriage. This person, it could be your soulmate here. Now, these messages as well, like I say, it could be travel of any description. You could be moving anywhere. But this good news and this movement, whatever it may be, if it's a type of journey, is going to bring you great stability. So cutting your losses here, taking the bittersweet victory, accepting that things aren't working out. There'll be different degrees of this tower moment. There's different degrees of hurt and disappointment. It could be in any area of your life here. But cutting your losses here, accepting what's going on, knowing that you want to put an end to your challenges, um, I beg your pardon, cutting your losses and putting an end to your challenges is going to bring you great stability in your home life, within your soul tribe. It could lead to a family if you're taking up with someone else. 
you know, and having to move to be with them. This type of energy we're talking about, but a lot of success and happiness here and new beginnings for you here, Scorpio. Okay, after a time of that's been very challenging, definitely. Now I'll just get an animal spirit message for you. I've had the hedgehog out nearly every time, so spirit, can we see what comes out? I get oh we've got the dog. Oops, a daisy. The dog. Archangel Zariel, be disciplined in your home and community of life. Yes. Go towards what makes you happy. Be around soulmates, be in good environments, and be around people that are good for you here, Scorpio. Okay, I hope this helps. The dogs are loyal. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.